This video is sponsored in part by The High Ground by best-selling author Melinda Snodgrass. In the Solo League, those without choice seek the high ground. Go to Amazon.com for your copy today. Actually, it wasn't water. That was the icy, watery remains of my tea. I did, however, go and grab a bottle of water while I was on my way. You came to find out about them. And you would be? I'm Olarm. Han Olarm. I need to know more about those things out there. About the Rachni? Rachni? That's preposterous. Hmm. Where did they come from? They found it in a derelict ship. An egg. Waiting since the last battles. They brought it here. Shut up! God, you want to get us killed? I don't have any control over who lives or dies here. Do you? If you're going to be crazy, be the quiet kind. <laughs> crazy? I'm sane. God, am I sane. I need to know everything about the Rachni. I told you all I can. We brought the Rachni back from the dead. In retrospect, a bad decision. I heard you were at the hot labs. How did you make it out alive? I killed her. Who? Doctors on Mua. We were going to lunch when the alarms went off. I ran into the tram, and I closed the doors. She banged on the window once, then they sliced her to pieces. Her head came apart like a melon. I closed the door. I killed her. Tell me what you know. I'll make your survival mean something. You think I want absolution? There is none. Could Matriarch Benezia survive in the hot labs? It's possible. The specimens were sensitive to biotics. Okay. I'll be leaving now. Yeah. I keep feeling like I'm about to sneeze, but I don't know if I'm going to. Maintenance store locked, authorization needed. Okay, so I need to go talk to somebody else. It's been a while since I've done this. What, what, what do you want? I didn't mean to bother you. No, you did nothing wrong. I'm just distracted. What happened to these people? They're suffering from a toxin. There was an accident. I have a non-disclosure agreement. I shouldn't discuss it with anyone outside of the company. But you're going to, because I might be able to help. And I'd like to think that the company finds our lives more valuable than their secrets. You know Mira, the VI for Peak 15? She handles the safety protocols for our experiments here. We reactivated her on our way through Central Station. That was you? I'm grateful. Until she came online, the automatic equipment wouldn't work. We lost the connection to Mira in the middle of an experiment and the quarantine failed. These three were exposed to a toxin, something we were working on. I understand your caution, but I need details. What you say won't go beyond these walls. It's a bioweapon. 
based on an exotic life form discovered on the frontier. They wanted something that could kill the creature, but there was no profit in something that kills one species on the frontier. We kept working on it and adapted it to affect more species. Thoros B is highly infectious, but can't pass from one person to another, like a bio-war attack without a pandemic spread. Do you imagine that distinction Thoros makes this ethical? B. Militaries, governments, They'll get this kind of weapon one way or another, and we're trying to limit the damage. I know you can't see that. You made this, but can't cure it. Don't you people take notes? Our first priority was getting it working. We were close to synthesizing an antidote when Mira went down. Our notes and equipment are locked in the quarantine labs. Captain Ventralis doesn't want to risk more contamination. Is he right to keep people out? No, the toxin has a brief period of viability. After that, it breaks down into simple protein chains. But he won't listen to me. I'll talk to him. Maybe I can convince him to let me try. I can't ask you to do this officially, but if you can do anything, I'd appreciate it. What will it take to get the cure for these people? The quarantine labs are near the science team's quarters. Once you're in there, Look for our notes. It should just be a matter of following our processes. Talk to you later. I hope you can do something. Okay, and now I need to talk to Captain Ventralis, I think. But getting into the labs to get a cure made. And that's this way. Something you need? I've heard about the problems in the quarantine lab. I'd like to recover the toxin cure. God, I wish we could help those guys. I really do, but we can't risk contamination now. We're not part of your defense plans. We're consuming extra rations, extra metagel. Yeah, but you also have extra guns. All right, you want to gamble with your life, you're not under my command. I'll have the guard let you in, but he'll lock the door behind you. He'll run a full scan before I'll let you out. If there are any anomalies, you stay in there. Those are reasonable precautions. I'll radio ahead to let the guard know. Good luck. Okay. I've got work to do. You and me both. Let's go. The whole series of fetch quests is what it is. You're not part of the crew. I have Ventralis' permission to go in there. Yeah, he radioed. He also said you have to prove you're not contaminated to get out. You got a death wish? You should stand watches on the barricade. Okay, let's see if I... Whoops. Okay, let's see if I can remember how to do this. Oh, I missed that last one. Okay, come on. One, two, three, four. Got it. Your mission ends here, Shepard. I thought she seemed odd. She's surrounded by Geth and pointing a gun at us. Shoot her! You're not as stupid as you look. Weapons free! And you're in tight quarters with us.
Yeah, I've already done that. I thought I would get it that first time. They came out of there. You mean the get the inorganics the Asari had with her? Benezia brought them with her. How can I get into the maintenance area? A team lead would have access. Like Dr. Cohen. He's in the medical bay. Okay. I'll be leaving now. Yeah. Of course, this is all building up to the boss fight you know that is coming, because Benezi is still there, and Benezi is a bad guy, and Benezi is a powerful biotic. Is that the cure? You did it? That a sorry scientist, the one in the mess hall? She just tried to kill us. Alestia? That's unbelievable. Well, I... I, uh, I don't know much about her. She arrived a month ago. One of the shareholders pulled strings to get her here. Let me guess. Saren, the Spectre? Yes. I think that was the name. I, I don't pay attention to the other research teams. Look. The guards? They've been more on edge since you got here. I think they were expecting you. And there are more labs in the back. The guards won't even let me back there. Just people with clearance. What about the maintenance area? Do you have access to that? The maintenance area? Yes. Take my pass. But there's just snow back there. Let me see that file. An extension on Phelps' work? I thought he was on the right track. I can't thank you enough. That oh God, what a paradigm. cliche. You saved their lives, do you know that? Could you spare a few medical packs? They're worth their weight in gold up here. You didn't get these from me. Ventrolis wanted them saved for his people. I need to administer this. Thanks again. All right. So yeah, I've got... You know, I've been playing the hero's journey. Hi ho, hi ho, it's off to fight. Benezia, we go. Hey, Olar. Bye bye, Olar. Here we go. I love how it sounds like melting water. Yes, crossing my path of fire while I'm firing is always a good idea there, Tally.
Okay. That leads out. This leads to a boss fight. So I'm going to save this here. Save it right there. Save. There we go. And that's that for this session. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed what I've been doing here, smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Especially if, you, especially if you've liked at least three of my videos. If you haven't subscribed, might as well go ahead. It helps me out. It costs you nothing. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I do appreciate hearing from you. Um, you know, I, I, I look forward to hearing from people. It, it makes me uh, think that what I'm doing here is kind of worthwhile. Anyway, I will see you again in the next session of Mass Effect. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.